Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin the maintenance, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Your first step is to remove the dipstick and use a cloth to wipe it clean. Now carefully tip the engine to drain out the old oil into an approved container. Be aware that some gasoline as well as oil may spill out. With the old oil removed, carefully tip the engine to an upright position and slowly pour the entire contents of the provided oil into the oil fill tube. Wait for one minute, then replace and tighten the dipstick. Remove the dipstick and check to make sure that the oil level is at full. Now replace and fully tighten the dipstick. Your next step is to use a socket or a spark plug wrench to remove the old spark plug. Install the new spark plug by screwing it into the cylinder head. Be careful not to over tighten or damage the plug itself. Next, loosen the screw securing the air filter cover and pull the cover off. Pull out both the old air filter and the pre-cleaner if your engine is equipped with one. Prepare to install the new air filter by first using a rag to clean off the filter cover. With the cover clean, reinsert the pre-cleaner into the cover with the arrows pointing upward. Now, position the new air filter on top with the paper element facing the pre-cleaner. Insert the cover's tabs into the slots, rotate upward, and tighten the screw. You can now reattach the spark plug wire and boot. Since fuel can become stale when stored over 30 days, use the fuel stabilizer to keep the fuel fresh. You can add it to a fuel can or to the gas tank. Be sure to run the engine for two minutes to circulate the stabilizer throughout the fuel system.